Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new Premiere Pro tutorial by Mr. Abhi. In this video, I am going to show you best export settings for Instagram uploading. There are three different sizes which are the most popular and professional for Instagram uploading. So guys, we have a great tutorial for today, so let's get started and have some fun. The first option for Instagram uploading is 1080 by 1080 pixels. It's a 1 is to 1 square ratio. The second option is 1080 by 1350 pixels. This sequence is a 4 is to 5 aspect ratio. And the third one is 1080 by 1920 pixels. This is a 9 is to 16 aspect ratio sequence. Although you can upload a 1920 by 1080 pixels video, but it's not gonna be the best choice because Instagram is vertically oriented. So guys, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Import your footage inside of Premiere Pro. Now click on the new item and select sequence. It will open up the new sequence window. Start with the digital SLR. 1080p presets. Now go to settings and you will find out frame size. The current frame size is 1920 by 1080 pixels and the vertical ratio is 16 is to 9. If we change the frame size into 1080 by 1080 pixels, then the vertical ratio will be 1 is to 1. It means it's a square size. If we change the frame size into 1080 by 1350 pixels, then the ratio will be changed into 4 is to 5. And if we change the size into 1080 by 1920 pixels, the ratio will be changed into 9 is to 16. For this tutorial, we are gonna use 1080 by 1350 pixels. Now simply drag your footage on the timeline. Now Premiere Pro will warn you that your clip does not match with the sequence settings. So you just simply click on the keep existing settings. Now edit your footage as you need. I'm not gonna show you editing process in this video. After your editing is complete, press Ctrl plus M to open export settings. Select the S264 format from the list. There is no preset for Instagram in Adobe Premiere Pro. Select the location where you want to save your clip. To export using sequence settings, click on the match sequence. It will automatically find the frame size and other information from your sequence. Or you can uncheck it to use custom settings. Please make sure that your video is under 60 seconds because you can upload maximum 1 minute video on Instagram. When everything looks good to you, click on the export icon to start rendering. After render is complete, upload your clip on the Instagram and enjoy. So guys hope you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up to my video, also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you, see you next time, till then have some fun.